Hey everybody, this is Rhino, and we are back with another recording session slash live stream of Hearthstone. Today is April 9th. We are done with all of the Journey of Unguru expansion. Let's trade out this 40 gold quest. So we now have in this stream the goal of playing five games, winning five games with Paladin and Priest, winning three games with the Shaman, and winning five games with the Rogue Warrior. There's certainly no overlap there. Uh, the Tavern Brawl, we've already done, so there's no need for that. And in the Tavern Brawl, I got a new card pack, so let's open that. So, there is one thing I forgot to do, though. I need to really work on this. Uh, I guess I should comment and I'll do it probably in the next 30 minutes and oh by the way I don't have my timer running and boy am I not not prepared there's so much more work now like so much more stuff and everything's a little bit different now uh, Let's see, I don't even know what to say here. Hello, everyone. Hmm. This is a normal live stream. Man, I'm slow here. Hmm. I will respond to comments immediately. Spell that right. Uh, and then uh, the other thing I want to say is like, Uh, I want to say is I need to do quests daily quest first sorry daily quest first but Friendly challenges. This might happen at the end. All this kind of centers around, uh, frankly, the fact that I'm growing faster than my skills uh, allow. As far as a streamer, there we go. So let's let's get in the Hearthstone. Sorry for sitting there. Uh, as I'm I'm getting a lot of subscribers here and a lot of people, and we can see Loki's here in the menu. And I bet Loki's probably going to either try and comment or uh, say something. I'm in busy mode, so that might actually stop his comments from popping up. Loki, I like him a lot, but he is really really gung ho, uh, like to talk and to play and I don't have time for that right now so let's start with just the Paladin of Priest victories and get into an actual game uh, we need to play ranked I'm surprised we're even at 20 ranked how do we even get that I um, well we have Murlocs is our only Paladin standard so let's play ranked with our Murloc deck to start off with uh, and I am totally cool with any of my friends challenging me on these live streams because those live streams are really helping my channel. I honestly should have done this from day one in uh, on YouTube. And frankly, I'll talk about it later, but if you want to start a new YouTube channel and make a job out of this, 
first of all, you're going to have to be independently wealthy somehow, but practically. Uh, you should definitely live stream from the very beginning. Particularly since YouTube now won't even let you get any money until you get 10,000 views. Which is a scary change. It, it is ridiculously higher than what it used to be. I think you needed a hundred subscribers. No, it was something lower than that. It was something like 10 subscribers uh, before you could do a monetization and it's gone from like 10 subscribers which is relatively easy to get. Maybe you needed Maybe you needed like a thousand views instead. I don't even remember what the limit was. Uh, and there, there are some other things you have to do too. So it's not just that uh, 10,000 views. Or it wasn't always just a thousand views or whatever it used to be. You also now have to be vetted. So if you get 10,000 views and you're posting Family Guy videos, uh, which happens a lot. I keep seeing them. Uh, or live streaming them, then YouTube is now going to look at that and say, no, that's not legal. We're not going to allow you to monetize that. In fact, we're probably going to, in the process, if they see you just stealing copyright, copyrighted things you don't have the rights to, they're probably going to delete your channel. So YouTube has gone from being this very open thing to this now very controlled thing kind of overnight and it'll probably open up over time but right now it's 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 crazy uh, but as I'm growing right now the my main goal here is going to be around the idea of uh, of getting daily quests done completely if I do all the daily quests and today just turns out to be a bad day to stream and nobody else comments and nobody challenges me and nothing like that happens, then fine, so be it. I've got lots of Borderlands 1 that I'm trying to record and that's certainly a weird experience in itself because I'm kind of not even commenting in that. And one of my commentaries on playing Borderlands once is like, honestly, how how little can you comment when a game is mostly just running and gun, gunning? Uh, like, my false example there was, if there was a six-hour movie that was all blackness and all all silence, can you show? three hours of that movie in your commentary? Can you try to make some kind of criticism around that? If you can, if you're just this genius critic that can make something about the the art of nothingness, uh, like, where did, where is the fair use in that example? And that's not what Borderlands is, not anywhere close, but, you know, if you just cut out all of the running and gunning stuff, Borderlands 1 particularly is a pretty short game and you kind of need to cut out the, the all the running and gunning stuff and all the side missions because there's it's hard now to tell somebody to go play Borderlands 1 with all the DLC except for Mad Moxie's The Underdome which isn't really worth playing unless you have a lot of friends uh, which would be a hundred hours and then turn around and tell them, you also need to play Borderlands 2 and all the DLC there, which is another 100 hours <laughs> plus. And then you need to play Borderlands the pre-sequel, which is probably another 60 hours. Uh, and then you need to play the Telltale game uh, of Tales from the Borderlands, which is probably another 20 hours, if maybe a little bit less than that. You're, you're approaching... 300 hours of gameplay before you can even tell them all right now we've got this new game called Borderlands 3 which is gonna come out pretty soon although maybe not as soon as I thought it was going to since just recently Pendulette and Teller and uh, 
and Randy Pitchford, the CEO of Gearbox, all just did some mocap for it. I, what's weird is, uh, you can't really trust what Pendulette says because he he doesn't remember things right. He he just makes things up in his head. It, it happens to a lot of people, and I it it. It's, it's silly, but it's the case. Um, and so, he had said probably a month ago that he was going to do mocap for a magician character for Battleborn. And either he was wrong then or something has changed. And that, because now it clearly is being saying this for Borderlands 3. So, in a lot of ways, Battleborn very possibly was the multiplayer beta test for Borderlands 3 and that they were thinking maybe they would separate the multiplayer element from the single player element of Borderlands. Uh, I don't think that works greatly for that game as a concept, but it is certainly something you could have tried. Is this going to work or let's just go ahead and kill this guy. Do this. Play a little control here. Let's see, he's he's gotta play ten Murlocs to get Mega Fin and he's he's actually gonna lose compared to that. So yeah, Borderlands 3 is gonna come out and it's gonna be in the Unreal Engine and I don't know how you catch people up. I, I don't think they are, frankly. I think they'll probably do a that quick intro intro sequence and explain sort of what's happened and that's kind of all that's gonna happen Ooh, well guess we'll do this and this and then the turn uh, so I'm I'm big in the Borderlands right now it's a very weird game to record I've because of the Journey of Unguru uh, expansion in particular, I'm behind on news. And with that combined with the Journey of Unguru expansion giving me new card packs and, and new builds here, I may find myself kind of really close to being... Uh, I don't know how you'd say this. Having a high chance of of winning really fast. Like right, right now, this deck in this iteration is at a 100% one victory out of one state. And, and I have a decent chance of winning here. Let's see, he's played 7 out of 10, so if he could play 2 more Murlocs in this, uh, in his deck. So he could play Mega Fan if he can get 2 more Murlocs in. And, frankly, I'm kind of in trouble. This. This. This helps a little bit but probably not as much as I would like the he can only do let's see seven damage per turn but that's only gonna give me three turns to figure out a way to do six remaining damage and he needed to kill something on the field to, to play one more murloc see that's gonna be an issue and so yeah this we got a comment hey do you have a quest priest deck uh, I'll look I don't think so though uh, that is one of the things that is certainly a problem uh, people are complaining about Blizzard uh, giving too many duplicates when we buy the card packs for this new expansion I think at the core of that, that is also coming down to uh, 
to the fact that they didn't give the quest cards for free. You should have, in buying your first pack of of Journey of Unguru, been given two extra card packs that had just the quests, or they should have just given you the quest cards by default. So every, I mean, honestly, they should have given it to everybody by default, just in celebration, because the the truth of the matter is. These quest cards need to be in every single player's hands. And that's not what they decided to do. Instead, they made them legendaries and they made them unlikely that you would get them all. I got very lucky in opening 58 card packs in the expansion. Uh, one of the commenters uh, put on one of my videos that they opened 96 packs and only got two legendaries. And that is more in line with what you would, where it would be. And see here, two more turns, I'm gonna lose. And see, he's not even gonna get Megafin done. Uh, even if he could get it done, it's not gonna really change much. He's gonna probably win. For playing this quest, he should, in these four cards, have at least one Murloc. Uh, so yeah, I feel like Blizzard kind of played it wrong and is, is being greedy. And similarly, as I'm starting to go through all of this, uh, the... Uh, do the fan outcry blizzard is giving more rewards for heroes of the storm on the high level mostly So more people who play heroes of the storm. There we go. Mega fan fills his hands with Murlocs uh, If you're up to level a thousand you're now going to get some rewards. I honestly don't think that heroes of the storm uh, Willie is going to ever do much successful my hand is too full see if I'll, maybe if I had stretched this out longer well he would have I could have had him run out of cards but I don't really have a way of doing that with a murloc deck uh, so I lose a star there whatever since I only have four standard decks I can even play and I'm trying to level up anything. There's also this glitch where everything that was labeled new is labeled new again. So I don't know when they're going to patch that so I, don't, I really don't even have a reason to to do to go through here and highlight everything as new. I'll, I'll do that once I'm certain I do have some extra cards to disenchant. All five of that original pack uh, that I got from the Weekly Tavern gives me 40 dust. And see, so you know that's about the exact average amount of dust you get for 100 gold. 100 gold gets you one pack. One pack of useless duplicate cards gets you 40 dust on average. Uh, and you need 1600 dust. So this whole system is designed to just screw you. So here we go. Uh, summon seven death rattle minions. I don't have that card. So to answer th your question. No. I can't possibly have a priest quest taunt deck. Uh, a priest uh, quest deck. Not taunt deck. Someone else asked me if I had made a taunt deck. Uh... It for warrior and the the way they phrased it on the comment of the videos can you make this and I I went and looked at my deck builds for the warrior and I totally had already done it so he either missed it or what so I said well I did it so go go watch it here uh, this is another issue is like all of a sudden I've gotten Tons of new subscribers. I mean, I've just blown up. I used to... Before I started streaming, I was getting one subscriber every two weeks at most. 
And in s streaming, I'm getting like a subscriber every day. Uh, it's it's going, it's it's really really doing that. With that, there there's a lot of demands that that to entertain the subscribers and do what they want. Uh, so people are asking me to make decks. That's not really what my channel is about. That's not what I want my channel to be about. Uh, if I was live streaming Hearthstone every day for 12 hours, yes, I would beg for people to give me the, that kind of feedback and, and ask that, uh, that the people would ask me to build decks and I would probably be able to find an empty slot to make decks. But right now, every single deck I've built was a lot of effort. You can see it. It there it was 10 hours of building the new decks. That's as much deck building as I would like to do until the next expansion. Uh honestly. Uh, so so if people ask me to build a deck for them, I'm I'm probably not going to do it. Frankly, the other thing here, of course, is I don't have the cards for it. I've built the best decks that I can imagine on my cards. Somebody else's collection might be completely different. And I don't have a complete collection. If you want to go see somebody with a complete collection, I would suggest Crippen. Trump probably has complete collections on every single server, too. Uh, I was just watching Crippen on Twitch for a few minutes last, last night, and he's... He's got like 50,000 dust, so he's just sitting on like nine plus copies of things. Oddly, he doesn't have a golden version of everything on the, the account he was playing. Uh, so, yeah, go ask somebody that has all the cards to make a deck if you just want to see somebody make a deck. It's not really going to help you any, though, because if I go make a deck with legendary cards you don't have, then you're gonna have to find some kind of alternative there and in that process it it you might as well just try to make it yourself I'm my deck builds are suggestions and ideas to pass along like when I make a murloc deck it doesn't the idea is to understand that murlocs in general synergize it, a murloc deck doesn't absolutely have to have a blue fin blue gill warrior in it or it doesn't absolutely have to have a corrupted seer in it it will definitely benefit from that it will definitely benefit from having the war leader and so your murloc deck might be way weaker and not win as much if you don't have any war leaders but the it's not 100% necessary Oh, this is not gonna go well. This thing is... This is wrecking me completely. So, yeah. People asking for deck rebuilds. People... People coming here to Hearthstone need to realize my channel is Hearthstone. Every three days, or thereabout, when I get three days of daily quests, sometimes I'll get a watch and learn, it'll be four days. That's why I'm not really scheduling these things and announcing the time. I'm all, I also suffer, suffer from insomnia, so the idea of being 100% certain that I would actually get to streaming at that time that it's scheduled is, is too much stress from, for me, frankly. I mean, it's just not going to happen. It's not really stressful. It's just, I'm being realistic here. If I said I was going to stream every day at noon, I would miss it half the time. If I said I was going to stream every three days, I would miss it half the time. So, you just have to be subscribed. But then the rest of my channel isn't Hearthstone stuff at all. Uh, I'm doing retrospectives right now of other games. Uh, eventually when the funding comes around I'm gonna try to more balance that into newer games and brand new games so that I can do that the problem of course right now is I've I've amassed a massive collection of over 600 games on Steam that are old games through Steam sales 
So I want to go through the vast majority of those, and the, since I've already invested in that, it spending sixty dollars on a game when I can almost get forty other games for sixty dollars if they're old, it, it's a hard decision to make. But sometimes I violate that that rule and and play new games. However, it really hasn't fixed or, or done anything amazingly good with my channel either like I, I have done the Witcher 3 when it was brand new I have done the witness I've done uh, the Talos principle uh, and of all three of those games there really wasn't any major increase in say in views uh, that being said that was when before I started live streaming so maybe in the new algorithm and the new way things work. Let's see, can we play any other character on standard? Uh, or are we just trying to get... Like, I could play warrior, rogue, or shaman. And... This is a druid, this is a warrior. And see, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of going backwards about this. I need to instead focus on this quest because that's what we're trying to do is get at least one quest done so if paladin's not working let's see what we else have um priest i've gone back and renamed all of these by the way well like i went back and i renamed everything in the decks, I removed the spaces and capitalized the first character of each word, and I've labeled everything in such a way that it points to the most likely thing that it will accomplish as far as the daily quest to the least likely thing it might accomplish. So this deck was heal, spell, uh, heal, spell, death rattle, I believe was the other one. And, uh, and something else. So, I, I can't even see what it's called. What the name of the deck is called. Uh, I wish it did. I guess maybe that it, I could just host on Deck Tracker to do that. But, the, the point here is, so I should be able to look at the name and, and have a better idea. That way I don't end up accidentally playing a deck that's either a low chance of winning or, well, winning is, is its own separate thing, but has a low chance of actually accomplishing the quest. I know in the stream last time during the expansion, after the expansion recordings, I... I ended up accidentally playing the wrong character completely, uh, just losing focus and being exhausted mentally from all of that streaming. Otherwise, I think the streaming worked fine. It went long, certainly. Another night like, of the proud. ideally, it with with proper editing and and doing more things helpful. Let's see, can I protect this character, or should I just? into my turn I'm just gonna do this and then next turn I'm gonna play this with this hopefully and then that will keep this alive and begin us down the process of success you, hopefully uh, hmm. I'm gonna try and respond to comments in between recordings always so I verbally have already responded to the comment about the priest quest, but I will, just in case for some reason they're not watching, I will also, uh, I will also mention it there. So if I could get Prophet Valen here, it wouldn't actually work with the death rattle effect. Double the damage of your spells and hero power is true, but not uh, double the damage and healing of your spells and powers, but not other things. And 
they managed to kill it. That kind of sucks, but it's not hugely an issue. Because we can just move on to the next one. And then next turn we can play this. After we kill this. He's playing a Cthune deck. Uh, Lego City Undercover as our next uh, next thing on the list. We've only really gone through maybe three or four things. Lego City Undercover is supposed to be the kid-friendly GTA thing. It was a port from the... Uh, Does this hurt? The Wii. And... It's completely broken. In fact, even more broken than I've ever heard any previous LEGO game on PC. Like, instead of Telltale game, not Telltale, TT games. Uh, I always get those two confused. Instead of them fixing their engine and improving things, they've, they really didn't even give a darn this time. It's, it's even worse. Even worse. Uh, let's see, should I... Should I kill this character? Can I kill this character? If I give this one plus two, which I guess I have to do... Does then we this do hurt? this... Then we heal this, and attack here, and attack here. And you know what, just double the health right now, in the turn. Just make it impossible for him to, to succeed. There we go. And that's gonna put us right at it. Yeah, so I'm kinda glad, and you haven't seen it yet, but I've already put out a video saying I'm not going to cover LEGO games anymore. Uh, they're too broken on PC. I still kind of recommend if you play them on a console and they get go through certifications and they actually give a darn about the game running smoothly. You probably are fine in the actual content of LEGO games for little kids or if you're just a huge LEGO fan. But on PC they don't give a darn. I mean they've almost every single Lego game on my PC particularly runs badly and yet somehow they ran better on my gaming laptop and so that's what really was the straw that broke the camel's back when there should have been a, a lot earlier straws that broke the camel's back uh, but it didn't it didn't happen I should have stopped after two games that were even slightly buggy on the Lego series and I was trying to cover it I have about three games in my thing I probably still will get suckered into purchasing the two remaining Lego games that were under sale I'll probably get suckered into even buying Lego City Undercover but just in some crazy hopes that one day it will run or somebody will find a patch and do something that fixes that uh, but but yeah, I can't recommend anybody play the Lego games on PC. And frankly, you're, you're better off on console for little kids anyways, and it's a little kids game. Which is a shame because then that just gets right back to the main problem on Steam and PC gaming in general. Is that there just aren't that many kid-friendly games. And that kind of hurts my channel. So, like, I'm now going to struggle to put kid-friendly games in that time slot until I decide to stop struggling and decide to just give up. Alright, stay tuned if you're watching live, but that's going to be it for this recording if you're watching it recorded. As always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe, comment, and watch every second of my videos. If you want a friend or follow me on basically any social media sites, there's a whole bunch of links down below. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.